Hey guys, um, I want to show you something. I love the Anaka. Come on outside. Did you hear that? Those are the frogs. Um, they just started planting rice here about a month ago and with the rice patties comes the frogs and they croak all night, they sing all night and I love going to bed listening to those frogs. They're incredible. Um, frogs on kimono, it's not really a popular motif. Um, mainly because a lot of the motifs that you see are flowers or animals that the nobility had access to in their gardens. Um, frogs are definitely more of a countryside or inaka animal. The farmers would be really used to them, but not the nobility. Um, so that's why you don't see them very often on kimono. Um, they're just great. I love them. They're so cute. They're, they're, they're not big frogs. They're just like, you know, a centimeter and a half long. Um, they show up everywhere. There they go again. Um, we're a couple of weeks away from the rainy season here. And uh, in the rainy season, uh, it's actually really sad. I'm going to try and get some footage of this, but when you drive down the road in the rainy season, um, the frogs will be out on the road and your headlights will light up these frogs hopping along on the road and you know that you've just squashed a bunch of frogs. <sighs> so sad. Um, but yeah, these are the frogs. got a gorgeous moon. It's kind of hard to see. When they're really loud, those are the frogs that are in the rice field right beside our apartment. Um, when they're a little quieter, they're in the rice fields a little more that away. Um, so it's a little quiet right now. Come on, frogs. Start singing. I want to hear you. I've already found frog uh, on the side of the building this year. Sometimes they'll show up on my car or on the side of the building or on the doors. Um, they just they show up everywhere. They're so cute. Um, I think they're cute. Um, actually, though, you know, on the, li on the list of, you know, animals that most people, not all people, most people find scary. Normally you find snakes or spiders or something like that on the list. Frogs tend to make it onto the list in Japan. I don't know why. Um, I think they're adorable, but I've met many, many Japanese girls, again, not all, but a lot of them who say they are afraid of frogs. Um, I'm not, I love them. And there, there they go again. <sighs> so yeah, I just wanted to share one of the joys of the Inaka life with you. So yeah, bye.